this is kind of awkward. There's no way they have no idea I'm here. This is unreal. Oh, we got a coyote behind us, but I do know that there is a buck, I think, with these does. And I am just so surprised that they do not notice me right here, unless they're bugged, but I don't think they are. There should be a buck with them, so I'm just going to wait a second. Maybe he'll come out. Oh, there he is. I just seen him through the woods. Yep, that's him. Pretty sure we dropped him. I tried shooting through the bushes there. It was such a weird angle. Uh, okay, maybe we didn't drop him because he was standing right here. Damn. Looks like we made a bad shot, guys. Damn it. We suck. But he's down. Must have been a bad spine vertebrae hit or something. Let's see. Yep, exactly what it was. Dang it. He was a 188.30. I tried shooting a little low. We were zeroed in for 75 and we hit him at 25 meters. So we definitely needed to aim a little bit lower for being zeroed that, you know, far away, I guess. That's kind of going to be the goal is just to run around and hunt some whitetail and maybe anything else that we see that we might end up shooting. Ooh, that right there is a pretty solid buck. Looks like it's just him and a doe, and there's actually a cow right here with us, too. Oh, there's two bucks, actually. Two 85 to 100s right there. Let's put you down, and where's that other buck? I have no idea. Oh, there he is. That should do it for him. You may have noticed that I did put the dog away. I just got really tired of uh, exiting my game and my tents despawning. Uh, until they fix that bug, I probably won't have Hank out here with us. Uh, unfortunately, he isn't level 30 yet in the companion section. So it really sucks that I have to just put him away and just wait until the game to be fixed. Because right now, it's just, it's so annoying losing all of my tents. Here soon, I'm going to have to go out and, you know, put all my tents back up on my maps that I've lost because of the stupid glitch. But anyways, <laughs> let's grab this guy. We made a bad shot on him unfortunately 100 meters out intestines and lumbar spine i don't i don't know how i made a bad shot on that but uh where's, where's our other one out here see a time like this is when it's nice to actually have the dog out because he can just you know all you gotta do is hit track and he'll find the blood for you ah found it all right and here here's our other buck right here this guy wow we made another bad shot dude what the heck is up with us making bad shots we made nothing but bad shots in our classic video the other day ago and now I'm making nothing but bad shots on these whitetail what the heck is wrong with me oh well at least they're just like kind of smaller guys so it's not really like it matters at least we're putting them down and getting rid of those suckers all right let's head over here there should be a need zone and down the river here i'm gonna go look at all right i have found some more whitetail actually two bucks looks like right there i don't know if there's more i think there might be something down here it looks like just those though yeah that's all it is all right well uh one of those guys actually turned we got some ducks right here <laughs> so we need to put it like right there yep that dropped him maybe the other one will give us a shot well we hit him i think it was probably very far forward unfortunately but that's all right maybe we'll find him later on and be able to bring him down uh, we spined him and lunged him, and he is a 171.90, and we got him at 209 meters out. All right. Well, would you look at that? We got ourselves another whitetail buck right there. That is exactly what we want to see. He's got quite a few does with him as well, so I think I think we're going to pull out the 30 out 6 here. We've got the good old Eckers. I love this gun. I think it's like the perfect rifle for hunting whitetail. I mean, the M1 Garand is great and all because you have the semi-automatic capability of it. For, like, the more realistic, you know bolt action deer rifle i feel like the 30 out 6 is just such a perfect fit for when it comes to hunting whitetail and things like that but let's get a little range on him he's about 150 it seems let's grab another little double check with the map yeah let's uh wait for him to put his head up she's going down all right, well, it looks like we got two of them, and I think we're going to be good with that. Oh, we have another warning call, actually, from a buck. Yep, there is more whitetail actually hiding in the back there. I can't really get a spot on these ones, but I'm pretty sure the buck is actually sitting right there. Put that right through him like that. Now, there might have been another buck there. I'm not too sure. We'll go check for tracks in just a second. But here is our doe. We right lunged her. And then here is our other buck. We left scapula, scapula and left lunged him at 154 yards out. And he's just a 169. Just a little tiny buck. 
nothing fantastic at all uh looking at the tracks here it does look like we did have one more buck a 70 to 85 weight range actually make that two more bucks both of them within the 70 to 85 all right I mean, they really aren't anything worth like sitting around and waiting for. So I think we're just gonna let them be and let's go try and find some more whitetail somewhere else. Well, it appears that I have found some more whitetail. And that one looks like he's about 262 yards, I think. Well, 235 according to the map. So that's definitely the better one out of the herd. There is another level one there. Obviously, I would much rather get this level two and his rack kind of looks a little weird. It looks like it's like just spread apart very far i don't know how to explain it we'll bring them down and we'll take a little bit better look at them here oh there's actually a level two there and a level two there let's go ahead and get these one of these guys down really quick before we don't have a shot anymore so there's him down he should have a buddy right there let's let him get into a trot and that should bring him down just fine Just for fun, we'll bring down one of those does as well. The more whitetail you can bring down, the better. And of course, I shot them right here and I have to run all the way around here to go claim these things. All right, well, I'll see you guys on the other side. <laughs> all right, finally made it back over and there's a whitetail mating call over there that I just got. Too bad because I'm not running across this freaking lake again. Another female there. Where the heck is our bucks at? I think we dropped him over here or something. All right, here he is. This, look at this weird looking rack. He's just like he's so wide it's very very interesting looking i'm gonna taxidermize him i might use him for the thumbnail but a 208.80 i think that's one of our better bucks for the day i think that's all of them uh i i'm not too sure if i'm missing any here or not i don't, I don't think i am so uh yeah let's go try and find a few more whitetail and that's going to be it for today's time you know one thing i've noticed about these whitetail is that they really don't give a damn about the bleat call right now i don't know if it's just a bug or something but they never seem to care about the bleat the grunt works pretty good i do got to say that though i still see another whitetail like right here behind where my uh binoculars are looking i see this buck but i think there's another one there and i want to make sure that i'm getting as many bucks down as i can yep there is another buck right there i see him i see his antlers all right let's go ahead and put a shot into you and you check out this guy real quick just another silver 188.20 we double lunged him from 135 out all right let's check out our last white tail of the day of course we messed him up we fleshed hit him and it just barely didn't go go into his lung i mean it looks like it kind of did but i guess it didn't register that it hit its lung or something that is very unfortunate if we would have shot just a little bit lower it would have went into his lung a tad bit too much meat for him to go through for it to reach that lung but that sucks all right anyways that was a lot of fun running around here on light and shooting some white tail i think i'm gonna do this every now and then just to you know slowly work towards the great one grind and maybe one day just one day we'll find one of those guys out here on our light map but hopefully Hopefully you guys did enjoy that if you did be sure to smash the like button subscribe if you haven't already it really helps me out a lot and uh yeah thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one later